Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and in this video I want to show you how to create a graph of a formula. The formula I'm going to be working with is a parabola formula. Um, yours could be a line, it could be an exponential function, it could be almost anything. But the steps to graph any formula are very similar to what I'm going to show here. So I'm going to have to do this in, in several increments. I'm going to start by creating the x values for the graph in column A. Then I will use the formula to create the corresponding y values in column B. Then I'll select all of those values and I'll insert the graph you see over here. And you can see this is a nice parabola graph that we have right here. So to get started on this, I'm going to go ahead and put it in a new worksheet. So I'm going to click the plus here to add a new worksheet. And first I'm going to put in the column of x values. So I'm going to start it with a label of x. Now I need to figure out what window do I want my graph to be in. I'm going to go ahead and create a graph from 0 to 40 in increments of 2. Yours will probably be different. So I'm going to start out and put the 0. And then I'm going to click what the second value is in this table. And since I'm going increments of 2, if the first one was 0, the next one has to be 2. What this does is it establishes the pattern for everything else that I see in column A. So now go up to A2 while holding down the left mouse button. Drag it over here. So now you have the first two cells selected. Now go down to the little blue box. and We're going to grab that and drag it down here. I'm going to drag down to uh, row 22. When I let go of the mouse button, it's going to take the pattern that I established with the first two numbers and keep doing that all the way down to row 22, which takes me to an x value of 40. So very quickly, I can create my x values. Depending on what you want your window to be, my window is going to go from 0 to 40. If you want yours to go from 0 to 2,000, You'd have to start at 0, but maybe with a different increment. Maybe you'd go in increments of 20 or 40, something like that. Now that I have this first column done, I'm going to come over to column B, and I'm going to type in what the Y values are here. And uh, my Y values, I could type a label of Y. I'm going to call this P of X, because this is representing profit, perhaps. And now I have to use my formula to generate the y value that corresponds to an x value of 0. Since I'm going to have this compute it, I'm going to type by doing an equals. And the formula that I'm doing is negative 0.1x squared plus 2.5x plus 100. So I'm going to start and say negative 0.1. I need to remember any time I want to do a multiplication, I have to use the star key to represent times. And in the formula, now I want x squared, so I'm going to click on the x that I want here. I'm going to do the caret, which is shift 6 on my keyboard, 2. So where I see the a2 is where we'd have x. So this is negative 0.1x squared plus 2.5 times, now I'm going to click on that x value, plus 100. So wherever you see this orange stuff here, that's actually my x value. So you can see the formula right here. Press enter, and it's computed the y value that corresponds to that x. I could type that formula in every single place here, but it's much easier to go ahead and click on that cell, grab the fill bar, and drag it down. Boom. It goes ahead and creates all the corresponding y values there for me. Once I have the values that I want to graph, I'll go up to A1. I'll click on it. While holding down the mouse button, I'll drag it down to B22. That selects all of my data. And now I need to insert my graph. So I'll go up to Insert, down to Chart. And it's going to give me some recommendations. That looks pretty good, but in case it doesn't give you a good recommendation, you'd want to go over to Chart Types. For a graph like this, probably either a line chart or a smooth line chart works the best. 
I'm going to use a smooth line chart. And everything here looks pretty good. So I'll say insert. And there's my graph. I can grab it and drag it a little bit. But that's a pretty good looking graph right now. You could come up here and do some modifications on it. If you really need to play with the window, you could come up and do advanced edit. But once you have the graph the way you like it, you're going to want to go ahead and say either save image and save that image to your hard drive, where then you can take it and insert it into another document. Or you could do copy chart and then go ahead into, say, a Google Doc and paste that. But one of those two options is going to get that graph into a Google Doc or into a Google Slide, something like that. So that completes our little tutorial here on creating a graph.